guys, what's up? This is Abby Cedro Pacific Room Video. I'm here at the Rock the School Bells 3 in Skyline College. Um, this is an awesome conference in Summit and I honestly hope and pray that this continues because there are so many speakers, um, people who are just experts in their own craft. And I'm here with Jerika Blackman who just spoke right now and I must say that was so inspiring. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's an honor for me to be here and to be able to do the keynote. I feel like often when we're having a conversation about hip hop as a culture, um, because commercial hip hop has marginalized the role of women so much, people don't realize how much women have to say or how much they are a part of the true culture. And so, you know, I try to do my part to show up to say, women are a part of the real culture that is hip hop, even if the commercial version doesn't depict them as anything but objects. Definitely. And you know, I mean, I'm actually like a part of the dance community. And you know, just like what you were saying with just the way that women perceive themselves, you know, whether it be in the media, the music videos, you know, just, um, you know, just like performance aspect, you know, it really touched me that someone actually said, you know, women, you could branch out from this perceived notion of how you should be, mm -hmm. you know, based on the media portrayal. Okay. Now, you had brought up a really interesting point, and I want to touch up on this. You were basically saying, like, the reasons for why you feel, you know, women are portrayed in this fashion, and I kind of wanted you to elaborate on that one. Yeah, um, I, well, one of the things that I always talk about is the, the real, true goal of hip-hop is to give voice to the voiceless. Um, and so we talk a lot about, you know, kind of the origins of a lot of what comes out in the culture and its uniqueness and authenticity and originality. There's a lot that's said in the community about keeping it real and, you know, the importance of being real and I, it, are you really real? Um, so um, what happens a lot of times is there is something that's authentic in the culture, but then by the commercialization and the, the narrowing of distribution of the music, you take that real thing and then you keep replicating and replicating and forcing other artists to tell that same story that's not their own. And that's what we call the perversion of hip hop. And that's what's happening to women. So you may have, and I talked about this, Tupac, for instance, who talks about his love-hate relationship with women, which grows out of his experiences with his mother, who was a drug addict. He expresses very artfully in song his love and respect for her, as well as his reversion to some of her behavior. So now you take that story, and you have the disrespect elements that he feels, and that rage and anger that he feels from having her not there, and then you take that as a hatred of women, and now you've got five other the artists who are told that they have to express that sort of hardcore edginess toward women, mm -hmm. and even women themselves. I didn't tell the story you wanted me to elaborate. Uh, I'm from Detroit and there's a woman there called Boss who came out in the uh, early 90s and her name stands for be on some S, right? That's some mm -hmm. shit, right? It's her, it's her, it's what her name stands for. And that came out of her wanting to be a more conscious rapper, but them telling her, no, gangster rap is what it is. And so she had to do that, and she's got her mom on her record, and she's like, Michelle, you know we sent you to good Catholic schools, and you know we never taught you to talk like this. And then she comes on, I don't give a, I don't care, I don't, no, 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 no. And that's happening to artists all the time. And that's where we move from art to entertainment. Right. right, because the art is the true expression of what's in the self and what's in the soul. And with that, hip hop has done some amazing things and inspired people all over the world in urban and poor communities to organize and advocate for themselves. But then commercial comes in, and we talked about this, hip hop becomes a safari. It's an opportunity for people outside of these communities to look in and see the negative aspects. And, and you know, what titillates them is violence and sex and you know sort of glorification of consumer ideas that's what people outside the community want to see that they don't have well tell me about being a pimp tell me about being a drug dealer tell me when you kill somebody or when your boy got shot hip-hop commercial hip-hop becomes those limited stories that perpetuate the stereotypes that people outside the culture want to see I definitely like understood also like what you were saying about like where hip-hop is today for example you know um, as a dancer, like we pick a lot of music sometimes that has so much vulgarity and so much um, depiction on just, I guess, how the hip hop culture is, whether it be about money, whether about, sorry for my, you know, expression, but bitches and cars. Where do you feel hip hop should be in, the, in that specific art form? Like when you're dealing with like people like most deaf and people who are talking about 
like the real true culture behind it. Where do you think music should be? Well, you know, this point. what I think is interesting is I think nature has a way of correcting everything. And so, yes, there's the commercialization of the culture, but I think there's also, now, we're living in an age where all the best music is free. And so if people just take the time to expand their horizons, there are incredible groups that you can get all their music for very little or free, um, and they offer it for free, because now we're going back to way, not just hip hop, but all music should be, which is a gift to the community. Right, and so people are mad, and I'm not mad at anybody who's trying to make some money, but I think the idea of excess money for anything, I don't care whether it's cars or houses or music or anything, playing sports, the, the way that we have commodified everything, it perverts it. And so now, you can go online and get, all, just go on YouTube and you know put in Conscious MC or Female MC, Positive MCs, and it's all there, it's all free. And you could start following those artists, you could start buying their music, you could start supporting that, and the, the truth is, the commercial folks are, for lack of a better term, hoes. They're gonna go with whatever we say is hot. And whatever we say is hot is going to be, uh, is going to be what, let me back up, because I gotta figure it out. Yeah, yeah, no okay, problem. so the commercial music is, um, is really gonna be hoes. They're going to go with whatever the community says is hot. And if all of a sudden we're not buying their artists, and we're not, right? We're not buying their artists, but what they start to see is there's a million hits on this positive female MC's page. Then suddenly, the new hot thing will be a positive female MC. Mm -hmm. And that's the shift that we wanna see. And it's up to us. We vote with our dollar, with our download, with our hits on a website. That's how we get the music that we wanna have. Very well said. I know you probably have a really busy schedule ahead of you. Um, I just want to, you know, just leave um, our audience with any lasting words. Do you have any advice to the people who are looking to pursue hip hop, looking to pursue, um, you know, basically the art form or the culture behind it? Do you have any advice for them on how to go about it in a positive light? Um, you know, I think that art is being true to itself and a true artist is always looking to expand their own horizons and trying to do what you think will make you money will only make you into a prostitute. I mean, that's just the reality. And you can, if you're willing to sell yourself, then, then, then there's lots of opportunities for that. And if you're willing to compromise your integrity and your values, then you can do that and it will entertain a lot of people. Everything that gets you attention does not get you respect.